Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates where it's always simple, easy, and delicious in my kitchen today for ingredients. No bake, Kool-Aid pie. What is your favorite flavor of Kool-Aid? Mine is going to be black cherry. Now, I do remember tropical punch, orange, grape, and pink lemonade as being my favorites when I was growing up. Four simple ingredients, y'all. That's it. So if you're ready, I'm going to start by putting a can of sweetened condensed milk into a bowl here. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a good one, y'all. I have to get with my mom on this one. Um, I was looking for some kind of old vintage recipes that maybe she grew up with. And she was telling me about this one here, like the millionaire pie that I made earlier. She also told me about the Kool-Aid pie. So I was like, Kool-Aid pie? Okay, let's make it. Okay, we're going to start off with a 14-ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. And we're just going to put this in a bowl. Sweetened condensed milk. It belongs everywhere. Okay, the next ingredient is going to be our Kool-Aid packet. I'm using the black cherry. Y'all, it's limitless what you can do. So this is an unsweetened pack, and it is 0.13 ounce pack there, just so you know. We're gonna go ahead and add this. Oh, oh my gosh, that smells so delicious. Now this is the first time that I'm making one, okay? So I got this recipe from my mom. Mmm, I can definitely smell the cherry in there. I'm gonna love this because I love cherries. All right, we're gonna mix this kind of until we get it all combined. Oh, Y'all, with the holidays coming, picnics, occasions, oh my gosh, birthdays. Can you imagine the different colors you can do? Talk about green for St. Patrick's Day. You know, lemonade, Put do the lemonade one and do the lime one or the orange one, you know, for Easter. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I've been talking to my mom lately and I'm just trying to get some, you know, good old fashioned, classic, vintage, anything like that, recipes that people would still understand today. And this was one that came up and y'all, look at how amazing that looks there. Oh my gosh. Okay, what we're going to do now is add our Cool Whip, the whole package. This is um, eight ounces. Now, I'm just going to kind of fold this all in until it's all one solid color. Okay, y'all, you know what? I like your comments a lot. When y'all tell me how you love the recipes or how you would fix a recipe, you know, you have different types of recipes, let me know down below what you would like so I can make it. I'm always looking for new ideas, new recipes that I haven't tried before. All right, so I'm just turning the bowl and just scraping along the side and kind of folding it into itself a little bit so we can make sure that we get it all. I love these no-bake desserts. Who loves the no-bake desserts? You just build it and put it in the refrigerator for hours to set up, and then you have an amazing, amazing dessert that looks like you've spent all day making and baking it, right? I mean, you can make this the night before an occasion or a special holiday or anything like that and then pull it out the next day and it's going to firm up and it'll just be a solid pie okay look at that so i'm going to bring my pie crust over here and let's talk about that okay so this is a graham cracker crust that we're going to be using today i'm going to just unpeel now, I picked this up from the baking aisle at my local grocery store. It's pre-made graham cracker crust. You know, you can even make your own pie crust by just using some graham crackers, some melted butter, and probably a little bit of sugar and just melt it together, form it into a pie crust, and then set it in your refrigerator until it firms up. So this is just an easy way, very simple, easy pie to put together. 
Okay, I'm just opening it up so I can get this little plastic piece out. This is the top, so it's going to sit on top of the pie when you put it in refrigerators to keep it nice and safe. <laughs> okay, so there is my pie crust. All right, what I'm going to do now is take my Kool-Aid mixture here and pour it into the pie crust. Well, actually, maybe put it into the pie crust. There we go. A better word for it. Don't expect it to pour. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. I need something to happen in the next week or so so I can make another one of these. <laughs> we got some birthdays coming up. We got some holidays coming up. Easter, St. Patrick's Day. Can you imagine the green one? Oh my gosh. Okay, so what I'm doing now is just smoothing it around. Now, I want to show you, here's the edge of the graham crackers, and what I want to do is make sure that the pie mixture here doesn't overlap that, all right? Okay, let me know if you've heard of Kool-Aid pie. Let me know if you want to make a Kool-Aid pie. You saw how simple that was. Oh, yum e. Okay, this stuff's not gonna come off very easily. Only if you like have a snack while you're waiting four hours for this pie to chill in the refrigerator. <laughs> we gotta try it. Oh my gosh. It's so creamy and it tastes like cherry. So imagine your favorite Kool-Aid flavor in this pie here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my lid for it, put it on and just seal it up, and yep, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator, and it's not going to sit in there more than four hours, I'm going to tell you that right now. We're not waiting. <laughs> but you can put it into four hours all the way up through overnight. There we go. Okay, guys, I'm going to put this in my refrigerator. I'm going to be back. We're going to cut into this, and I'm going to try it for you nice and cold. Okay, it's been four hours exactly. No one in this house is waiting any longer. <laughs> so we're going to cut into this and try it for you. I'm going to take the lid off here. Oh. That looks amazing. Okay, let me cut a piece. Okay, so I just put some Cool Whip into a piping bag and then I just snipped off the end there and I'm just going to pipe some right in the center. And then I'm gonna put a cherry. That is the flavor of my Kool-Aid pie. Okay, here's my flavor, black cherry Kool-Aid pie. What's your flavor? Y'all comment down below and let me know. I'm going in. Mmm. You know, it's a very subtle flavor. It's very creamy. Mmm. Oh, that is so good. And that crust, graham crackers. Mmm. All right, I'm going to give you some dessert ideas right here. Make sure you check my description box down below because there's always plenty more down there. Make sure you comment and give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, I will see you on the next episode.